Hey guys, Raj Sanger of Cardi Security. Welcome back to the channel. Another classic Ferrari in for an audio upgrade. And this one is special. 365 GT4 2 plus 2. And it belongs to our good friend Merlin of Duke of London. Now, this is going to have one of his Merlin audio upgrade packages. So, speakers, stereo, and some bass. So guys, sit back. We'll show you the installation process and hopefully you'll enjoy this episode. Three, six, five. GT4 2 plus 2. 2 plus 2 means that you've got two front seats and two rear seats. And while I'm here, let me show you that. Gorgeous green over tan interior. Now, this externally, the car's definitely been restored. And as for the interior, this is fresh. Um, that green over tan just pops. Fairly unique color. I mean, I've Googled this car, and most of the colors that come up tend to be red or silver. So I don't know how many of these were made. I'm sure one of you guys can find that out and drop a comment below, but it just looks so special. Now, most importantly, the engine bay. Let me show you this engine bay. Guys, check out this engine bay. It's a work of art. 4.4 litre V12, naturally aspirated. Best part of 335, 340 brake horsepower. It, this just looks gorgeous. Now, when we finish the audio install, we will pull the car out and you can have a listen to this thing purr. Um, now, guys, I'm gonna leave it in the hands of the engineers and they will show you what's going into the car. Jay, come in, come, 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 come. <laughs> you saying? Now, back of the seat, yes? Back of the seat, yeah, we've taken the seats apart. The um, two four inch speakers? Yeah, so. In fact, should we show the. Yeah, so in here, we've still got the driver's seat in there. So you can see there's like two grills at the back of the seat there. Um, so what we've planned doing is putting two four inch speakers in either grill location. So it's unusual, isn't it? Have you ever seen is, anything like that before? No, I haven't. So that's the seat being taken apart. The base is there, the back of the seat is here. Over at the table, this is the back of the seat. Right. As you can see, it looks OE like the other one, but we've mounted two Alderson speakers at the back there. APX4s now, uh, Merlin loves his Alderson. It's a Merlin package. Yeah, it's called a Merlin package. Merlin he, package. He literally just comes here, drops a car off, can have a Merlin package. And that typically is Alderson speakers and Alderson, Alderson sub and Alderson bass. Bremen unit. Yeah. Now, the Bremen unit's actually already been fitted in there previously. He bought that from us, I think, a month or two ago. Yeah. That's the SQR46 DAB, um, old school retro unit. It's probably a little bit new for the Ferrari because that's a 70s car with an 80s unit, but that's the best you're going to get. Um, now, there are, another, are there another pair of speakers in the doors as well? Yeah, so in the front doors, so this was what was in there behind the door cards. These are the actual grills on the door card, so you don't actually see the silver grills there. So we have originally gone for a six. We may change the size to a five, depending on what we can squeeze in there. Okay. So um, in all in all, he'll have six speakers and obviously a five channel amp and a sub. Awesome. Right, guys, I'm gonna leave the engineers on Duke's car and I will be back towards the end of the episode and give you guys a listen. See you in a bit.
Duke's car, Merlin's car. All yes, done? All done. Um, a challenge? Yes. Uh, one obviously being an old classic car. Uh, the other one is it's a Ferrari and it's a classic car. So, so what does that mean? The handmade, once you take something off, it will never go back on. So, are, so you, are you saying you were installing and fixing as you went along? Yes, that's the case on most classic cars. And that's I've the got challenges. Steve over there nodding his head as well. <laughs> he doesn't want to come on camera. So I can imagine that. He's already told me off camera that there's some other bits and pieces that you found that you thought, you know what, because it's Merlin, because yeah. he's such a great person, because he's such a great customer, let's just do it for him. Yeah. And you know what, we love him so much, we're probably not even going to bill him for all that. Anyway, so... But, um, even though it's Merlin, even if it's another customer, we still do those little bits because then what happens if that car goes out and that little bit which we didn't touch now causes a rattle is coming back to us. So we try and do fix little bits on the way. Fine. It's just part of Good. the job. Nice. We have to do it. Nice, nice. So we have had to modify the battery clamp because obviously this is a different type of battery that would have originally been on there. Positive terminal was all loose because it didn't clamp down enough. So new bolts and... Oh, by the way, we're not calling anyone out there, yes? Yeah? So no, this we're is what we're just we saying have. That's how it came in. And obviously, as Jay said, we can't let it go out like that because we've touched it last. So we've, we've fixed all the areas that we've seen that needed addressing, we've addressed them. Yeah. So you found a hole for... Um, yes, yeah, factory drop going into the vehicle. Awesome. Coming into this side of the dash. Behind the dash, there's this very slim panel and you can't run any cables down there or down the side because this didn't close. So to overcome that, we had to then go to the center of the console and run the cables on either side of the center console all the way down. But then we couldn't run the cables across into the boot because there was no allocation and then the rear bench wouldn't go in. So then we had to come on either side across the seat into the rear quarters, then into the boot. So a bit of a run with the speaker cable, but we got there eventually. Um, and obviously into the boot, coming on either side, cables from the top, so the cables are- The amps are mounted. Ma amps nicely, mounted there. Yeah. So what we've done is that's just a metal back. So there's actually a board we've mounted behind there. And then the carpet's gone on top and then we've mounted the amp to the board and we've not mounted that directly to the metal because we, did, we wanted that board secure. Being an old car, if, if there was a weak bit of the metal or anything rattling, we just wanted a baffle there, so there's a board being mounted there. Right guys, so this is my first listen. I know Purav's already been in and set it all up and had to play around with it and tweaked it and so on. Um, so I'm using an iPhone cable just to get a little bit extra clarity. Uh, the black one does have Bluetooth streaming, but there is a little bit of signal loss and I wanna try and keep quality as clean as possible. as clean as possible so I will play something that's YouTube friendly uh, which you may not have heard of but at least copyright reasons keeps everyone happy Wow that's impressive nice punchy bass yeah you've got the bass come through even though it's sealed still coming through Speakers are bright because we've loaded the car up with speakers, that's why. So there are bright. no additional tweeters in this car, but actually the top end, the dynamic end, is actually very good. Yeah. And the seats aren't vibrating, which I was a little bit worried about having this two speakers in each nah, seat. Nah, it'd be fine. Uh, and that bass is very good. Nice, punchy bass. Yeah, I think you'd be very happy with it. Well, this is... It's already came in with one speaker working. Yeah, yeah, this is the Duke package, so he yeah. knows what... He knows what it's going to sound that's like. It. Quality, it's good, isn't it? Smashed it. Really good. Really dynamic, smooth, punchy bass. Right, guys. So that is the installation of the audio complete. We have also added a smart track. Uh, tracking system because obviously it needs to keep this car secure. I know when Merlin picks this up within a day or two he's taking this to Switzerland so it's very yeah. important that he's got music, he's got some bass and he's got the security as well. So guys that's the audio and security installation on this 
gorgeous Ferrari 365 GT4 done. Um, what do you think? What do you think? You know, what do you think of the use of the space, fitting speakers in the rear of the seats? Pretty cool, hey? Um, I did say that I'll give you a blip of the throttle as well. You need to hear that V12. So before we start the car, because you won't hear us, guys, any questions you have, any comments, you know what to do. Drop them down below or email us in the description. You've got our full email details in terms of cost. If you've got something similar, it's probably best to email us and we will quote you accordingly. Installation, uh, equipment, and so on and so on. Um, as I said earlier, make sure you give it a thumbs up and make sure you subscribe to the channel because as you know, there's loads of content coming your way because we keep throwing it out there. So, uh, you wait for Jay. On to the next one as well. Yeah, make sure it's in uh, neutral, yeah? Oh, yeah. <laughs>